I'm Andrew Ross Sorkin of the New York Times' Dealbook here with Dealbook's news editor, Adrian Carter. And, you know, we're talking today about the transaction of the moment, um, energy transfer buying Southern Union for uh, $4.2 billion, trading one of the largest natural gas pipeline companies in the country. And I'm curious, is this a, is this a deal based on the idea that somehow natural gas prices are going up? In fact, it might be actually quite the opposite. Really? The CEO is actually not bullish on, on natural gas prices. He thinks prices are going to remain relatively low. So in that sort of environment, bigger is better. Cost efficiencies are important. Right, but we keep seeing lots of these deals. So what's, what's driving this is sort of what seems like a wave of transactions in this space. Well, one thing you're seeing, particularly in the utility space, is this added cost of regulation. So obviously you're seeing increased costs at a time when energy demand is actually relatively flat, right. which is surprising. You would think iPads are out there, uh, you know, new electric cars, you would think there'd be increased demands for energy or gas or whatnot. And actually there, there's, there isn't as much. Right. So, so look into your crystal ball for a second. Given all the turmoil on the markets, you know, a lot of people were saying that M&A was going to become dead as a result of all this. This comes out in the middle of this this sort of mess in Greece. Do we think we're going to see transactions like this and more of them going forward? For I, the rest I think, of the year? you know, looking at MA in general, you know, right. companies have a ton of cash on their balance sheets and they're willing to put that to work for strategic opportunities. And so this is one of those strategic opportunities. They're not willing to just throw the cash around, but I think you, that's why you're seeing these smaller deals, these $4 right. billion dollar deals, $6 billion dollar deals. You're not seeing the $30 billion dollar ones for the most part. Um, but the smaller, more strategic ones are happening. So interestingly, it looks like energy transfer stock is actually up, which, which is somewhat of an anomaly, or at least had been been historically an anomaly, but we're seeing this more and more, where actually the buyer stock is being rewarded by investors as opposed to being pummeled. You know, and I think one of the things that investors are looking for is whether they think they overpaid for it. So if they don't, if they think they're getting a deal, if they're right. getting it at a good price, then the stock is going to bump up. Investors are happy. What's happened though? I mean, that's, that's actually a real shift, right? Well, I think one of the things that's going on stock is this use of cash. They have so much cash on their balance sheets. Investors are happy to finally see them putting it to work in the hopes that maybe you'll get some bump out of it. You know, the mega deals, I think, is where you're still seeing the problem, where you're still seeing the right. pressure on the acquisitor side because, you know, people are a little concerned about integration, about whether or not you're going to get the cost efficiencies. But these smaller, more mid-sized deals, you know, investors seem pretty happy right. that their companies are putting their cash to work. Adrian Carter, thank you for the conversation. I'm Andrew Ross Sorkin of the New York Times' Dealbook.